one of the things that seemed to like resonate with people who were brainstorming was like, what if we used like a world in the clouds as a setting? What you see here is a cloud terrain um, that is what we call a realm and that it is sort of speckled with islands. Um, the thing you can't see just from a single shot is that the world's got a handful of realms and they all sort of have a slightly different identity. Um, so they they play a little bit differently. You can find different things on them. Sort of the, the atmosphere is different. Is this a procedural world or how would you describe this? I mean, we we created a whole suite of tools to help us create the world. Um, and so, you know, some aspects of that are procedural. Um, a lot of aspects of that are handcrafted. So we use this proxy swapper tool to help generate that stuff, correct? Yeah, the proxy swapper basically says, all right, you've got this complex level that has all this potential variance built in. I'm gonna basically like pick one set and output like a proper level that can, you know, have all this sort of like baked processed stuff in it. And we use that source island to produce a handful of them. That's what like this shot is all about. Like that is what our earliest um, sort of attempt at making an island and all the sorts of different things um, that can get swapped down. Basically what one island, different variations of what one island could look like. Yeah. Based on the tools that we're using. And there's some pretty big um, changes too. If you yeah. are looking at that last video, you can see like big chunks of the island are added on or subtracted depending on which variation is picked. So then once each island's generated using these tools, um, I mean, obviously we've handcrafted all the pieces and Jason can talk about that in a little bit, but uh, once each island is generated, then it goes into a different tool, right? To create the realm as you're calling it. Yeah. So, um, what you're seeing now is more or less like a, a custom tool we made for this game where the designer can just sort of like drop islands down um, onto a cloud terrain and then say, all right, you know, like process this and like make a map out of it and get it game ready. Um, but some of the neat things about this tool are that um, it lets us add in as much or as little as we want to sort of sculpt the cloud terrain and to insert rules about how islands uh, show up. Um, and by sort of like creating more and more of those rules, we just get this sort of explosive um, set of possibilities that, that can come out of it. And we create a, a few of these like rule sets for the different realms that all give them part of their unique identity as far as like island density and the, the sort of features of the cloud terrain. And then these are all the islands and the colors are height maps. Um, and so you, so we can see like how tall they, the different pieces are. And so the designer and the, this other tool is able to, you know, puzzle them together into Stormland realms, um, using both this automatic rule set and also, you know, their own design goals, uh, to actually create the islands that will actually show up in the world. You know, once we spit out one island variant, we've got this system that basically like tries to 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 simplify it down to like a low resolution mesh and um, gives us that top down sort of thumbnail projection. Um, and what we're able to do with that is not just sort of feed into this tool so we know what every island looks like, but give you like a fully 3D map and compass that you can look at in game. You've sort of like got it there on your wrist. You can look at the different directions and sort of see what's around you in 3D. Um, and it lets us um, sort of swap out all the distant islands for, you know, the, the cheap low poly versions, which results in being able to see a super long distance in game, being able to see the other realms with their islands, being able to see all the islands in your realms and, and sort of just getting this very smooth transition as you just flow through the world of, um, you know, you can see 30 islands, go to any one of them and it's like super detailed when you get there.